Have you ever heard the saying, your environment is just an excuse for you not to achieve success? I've heard it countless times. You have to perform, no matter what, don't be soft. And while there is a kernel of truth in not letting circumstances define us, today I want to explore how our environment significantly influences our ability to work, to create and to thrive. Moving to Bali was a dream come true, but it came with its own set of challenges. My first villa, with its open plan living, was far from the perfect backdrop for my videos. Surrounded by construction sites, the noise was relentless. Only to be replaced by the booming music from a nearby beach club at night. The space was old and gruffy, the noise unending. My productivity and creativity took a hit. Then everything changed. I invested in an off-plan villa, drawn to it by a very minimalistic and very clean design, and also the location, which was far more residential. I now could better control the light and the noise and the overall ambience. The impact? Almost immediate. Within a week, I created more videos than I did in the previous full year altogether. It was a revelation. This experience taught me a vital lesson. Never underestimate the hidden cost of a non-conducive environment. I should have moved a lot sooner, even if that meant higher expenses. Because those monetary savings, they are nothing against the lost productivity during that year. But you don't have to be rich to make those truths work for you. Let me share with you seven tips that you can implement in your home, in your space, whether you want to splash out the cash or do that on a budget. In the journey towards creating a harmonious balance between our professional and personal lives, the first step is to establish a sanctuary for focus and productivity. Imagine a corner of your home, no matter how small, transformed into a dedicated workspace. This isn't just about physical boundaries. It's about signaling to your mind that within this space, creativity flows and work thrives. Embrace minimalism. I'm not a minimalist at heart, but when it comes to my workspace, all you will find on my desk is usually my laptop, my monitor and my phone. Minimalism isn't merely an aesthetic choice, it's a pathway to mental clarity. It's in this clutter-free environment that your mind is free to wander, explore and create. Natural light and greenery. Bring the outside in, visualize your workspace, bathed in natural light, its rays casting a warm, energizing glow over everything you do. I can't emphasize this point enough. In my old villa, my desk was as minimalistic as it is right now. It had a laptop and a phone and a monitor, but it was hidden in this room where there was absolutely no natural light. And when I sat down, my creativity was just sipping away. So if you have a desk and you can place it against the window, you're already a winner. Personalize your space. Your workspace should be a reflection of who you are and what you aspire to achieve. Imagine surrounding yourself with symbols of your achievements, reminders of your goals and artifacts that inspire you. Soundscaping. Sound has the power to transform our mood and our focus. Envision crafting an environment that shields you from distractions and tunes your mind to productivity. Personally, I use the Study Beat playlist from Apple Music, but just make sure that your choice resonates with what feels good. Ergonomics. Comfort and productivity go hand in hand. Imagine a workspace where your chair supports you just right and your desk is at the perfect height inviting you to work longer and more comfortably. What I would also say is that no matter how good the chair, after a couple of hours I start feeling some aches in my lower back. So what I do is go downstairs and have a 10 minute yoga practice. For you something else may work a lot better. Let me know in the comment section how you re-energize your body after a long day of sitting. And finally, tech free zones. In our always connected world, the true luxury is disconnection. Have areas in your home sanctified for relaxation and quality time with loved ones. 
spaces where screens and gadgets are consciously absent. It's in these moments of unplugged connection that we find balance, enriching both our personal lives and enhancing our capacity to create. Begin with one change today. Look around you. Does your environment reflect your goals personally or professionally? My transformation showed me the environment isn't just a set. It's an active participant in our journey towards success and fulfillment. So let's not underestimate the power of a well-curated environment. It is time to align our space with your ambition. And in doing so, you're unlocking a level of productivity and satisfaction that you've only dreamt of. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.